how likely is it that you would recommend us to a friend or a colleague? From zero, not at all likely, to 10, extremely likely. You have personally been submitted to the NPS, Net Promoter Score question, probably more than 100 times. And many of you are using NPS in your firms. NPS is a staunching success. Its author, Fred Reichel, a former consultant with Bain, proposes that this is the one number you need to grow. Unfortunately, it has too often become the only one number you need to know. Some firms have been overusing this KPI. They are basing their strategy and the remuneration policy of their frontliners on this indicator and on this indicator only. If the NPS is high, the strategy is right, and the frontliners should be rewarded. If the number is low, then there is something fundamentally wrong and people have to be let go. As simple as this. Or is it? Well, NPS can certainly be useful, but it is not a panacea. Firms could be making heavy mistakes by relying too much on this indicator. In this session, I will propose a critical review of NPS. The good, yes, it's a simple and useful indicator. But also the bad. NPS suffers from validity issues, diagnostic problems, time drifts, and cultural issues. And the ugly, the on the field constant gaming of the NPS score. I will review NPS use cases examples and propose alternatives and redemies. And I hope this could help you change the way NPS is used and or to complement its use. In a nutshell, yes, NPS can be used as a tool, but please don't use it as the tool. Join me and let's start the discussion during OWP Live.